Hello everybody and welcome to a hot day up on the mountain. So hot actually that we're keeping the top of the McLaren Artura Spider closed. Mm -hmm. uh, Artura, look, everyone knows there's been some problems. Right, they had a, a four month delay yeah. after the initial delay. The yeah. four month delay was like a quality control issue they wanted to refine a little bit. They bought some cars back mm -hmm. And, and now we're into the second gen car in 2025 model year, which this is. The Spider uh, coincides with the second generation Artura. There's a, a power update. It's now up to 690 horsepower. They've refined a bunch of mounts and suspension bits. Yeah. Um, frankly, Things I didn't think were wrong with the original Artura. They changed so much with this car, a and lot. it's like I, the engineers that work on powertrain suspension, I guess they don't want to take a vacation or something. They just keep they keep fiddling with stuff. Well, or, they had to fix it. Well, that's the, they, the the glass half empty is they weren't done with the car when they rolled the coupe out. Right. And they still had these uh, these things in the in the oven. Items outstanding. The glass half full is they wanted to keep iterating. Huh? Right. I mean, both can be true, but the fact is you're now more likely to see the second gen Artura on the road, possibly before yeah. you've even seen a first gen Artura yeah. on the road. Um, however, dynamically, I drove the first gen Artura and I thought it was excellent. Uh, the, the V6 is smooth and powerful. The hybrid system works really well. You've got a 7.4 kilowatt hour battery with a, an axial flux motor uh, in the gearbox that also acts as a reverse gear. There's no mechanical right. reverse Although gear. now the electric range is up by two miles. It's yes. 21, not 19 with the very, first one. Very important. Which is a big, big change. Hugely important. Uh, and good. you've got the uh, electrochromic power top which does go down in 11 seconds this is very important because it blocks like 99 percent of well uv light not light yeah. light but i'm very grateful for that today right so the artura replaces the sports series cars the five series and six series cars um and it's not cheap 273 grand base for the spider and this one is hold on to your balls 300 and eighty six thousand dollars is a hundred and Fifteen thousand dollars in options on it, including thirty-seven thousand in exterior carbon fiber, nine thousand in interior carbon fiber, uh, the eighty-three hundred dollar driving assistance pack, the nine thousand dollar electrochromic roof, uh, the ninety-four hundred dollar performance pack, and uh, and then a bunch of other things that are less than the high four figures. Yeah, they're small, 5,000, 5,000, 5,000. 5,000 Ford here. exhaust, 5,000. 5, there, what's that among friends? Yeah, what is it, like? what, it's a small number. And uh, we're gonna have a go right now after you give me 90 seconds for today's sponsor. Guys, filming cars up on the mountain is super fun, but also in the California summer, it's super hot, super sticky, and super sweaty. And when we come down off the hill, I gotta have the whole rest of a work day after me. I don't have time to go home and shower. And that's why I'm super stoked for today's sponsor, Mando. Developed by a doctor who realized that B.O. was being misdiagnosed and mistreated and came up with something better. Mando is a whole body deodorant system. And that means not just your pits, but your balls and your bits down there, your stomach, your chest, your back, your cracks and crevices, everywhere. It keeps you scented and delightful throughout the entire day. The starter pack comes with four items, your traditional deodorant stick, the deodorant cream, deodorant wipes, which you can take out on the road with you, and a beautiful scented body wash. You can choose from four different scents that are all totally unique. I've got the bourbon leather, there's Clover Woods, Mount Fuji, and Pro Sport, and they've even got unscented. Unlike other deodorants that mask bad smells with more smells, Mando is powered by mandelic acid. That's where the name comes from. And you gotta think of it as sort of like a pre-deodorant to stop odors before they start. Yeah, masks odors for up to 72 hours. Mando's clinically proven to control odor better than with a shower and soap alone. Remember, the starter kit comes with the stick, the cream, the body wash, and the deodorant wipes, and you can get them all at a special discount. Hit the link in the video description and use our special code for five bucks off a starter kit plus free shipping. That's a 40% off net value. And thank you to Mando for sponsoring today's video. 
Now let's get back in this thing and hit the road. All right, are we smelling good? You smell a lot better now. We smell good. Thank let's, you. Let's take off in electric mode, which is why everybody has come to this video to see how it is in electric mode. The turning radius. Everyone wants to know what this hypercar EV is like. Pretty good. So you can go highway speeds in electric mode. Yeah. It's in the gearbox, and this car is quite light. It's actually 3,400 pounds and change at the curb. Lightest car in its class. It's very impressive. It's it's lighter than a uh, Ferrari 296 GTB coupe. Noticeable. A couple hundred pounds. Even with fluids, because you got to find, like some people report dry weight and some do this, but even, even with all the fluids, it's a couple hundred pounds lighter, which is impressive. It's also, I mean, I'm not even trying to be silly. Like the EV efficiency is, is pretty good. This battery pack is about half the size of the one in a Prius Prime, and it goes about half the distance. Yeah. So, you know, it's a very light car. As you said before, the benefit of the carbon tub, right? Yes. They save a lot of weight. Yes. Ferrari keeps using, they will use a chassis for so long. They will they will cook the, the cow, like the steak, and then they'll cook the bones, and then they'll cook the head. So will you know? McLaren, but the chassis they're starting with is made of carbon. It's a carbon fiber scale. So we're going right. to go straight to my favorite mode, track powertrain comfort chassis they've moved the uh the adjusters up on the binnacle here you can hit them with your fingers and now we can go quickly go. this is a true delight to drive it's fluid it's fast steering is great the ride is so good Ceramic brakes, standard on the Artura, as it should be for a car of this price point. Yeah, and this, and this performance. And I love the Ferrari 296. That's the closest competitor. It drives great. I love using the Artura better. The UI is much easier. True. Everything is simpler. Uh, if I actually wanted to use a supercar as a daily driver, the 296 would drive me insane. This is logical and simple and easy. And even though the steering wheel is completely devoid of any buttons, I can operate everything from my peripheral vision down here. And I like that system better. Yeah, definitely. And I like having those little buttons on the binnacle because they're pretty much hidden from your view when you're driving. Right. They're not intrusive. They don't look like, oh, this is ugly. It's cluttering the dashboard. But they're really easy to use. And then, of course, having a good reactive touchscreen. This is a, a much improved one over their earlier cars. Yeah. And yes, it has CarPlay, but we're not even talking about that right now. You need to be wired in. It's not wireless. It's, it's, it's have I said this is stupid fast? It is such a smooth experience because everything's so like locked down together with yeah. all these new engine mounts and things that I don't realize how fast we're going until I look over at the, the numbers. Yeah, the, the gearbox is really, really smooth, even in track mode. Um, smoother, I think, than the 7 Series car. Uh, it's not the it's torque true. fill. Right, it has torque fill, but it also has this breathing fluid thing yeah. that like pressurizes the lines right before you shift. So the shifts in this are 25% quicker than they were in the Artura you drove before, which is a really impressive improvement. Fixing something that I didn't find to be a problem. Right. Uh, you know. Well, speaking of that, it has new engine mounts, which they're very proud of. Yep. Which what is, was the problem? Was that a problem before? Nope. Like it's a little tighter and firmer. Yeah, that was all fine. You see it, it helps everything move, you know, uh, like a, more as like one unit. But I have never been in a McLaren and thought, you know, that engine mount <laughs> it feels too soft. I just don't, I guess I don't have the pallet and yeah. the, the engineers do. No, this car, it, it, it's hard for me to say specifically, well, compared to the first gen car, because A, it was like a year and a half ago and I've driven 150 cars since then. And, and B, the things that they claim to have fixed, again, I didn't have a problem with. But with what we have in our hands right now, We've got a car that rides beautifully. It feels incredibly tight and composed. It's crazy smooth. It's super fast. It's well insulated in here. And like all McLarens, the Spider is just better. Yeah. With a carbon tub, you don't lose uh, rigidity. It's a 136 pound weight penalty, which if you ask me, is well worth it to be able to drive this car with the top end. Totally agree. And, and, and whenever I've been in one of these cars, the McLaren Spider, the tops go down, up and down quickly. They 11 really seconds. Well, like, that's 
really proper fast. You can use it up to like 30 miles per hour. Yeah. That's just, it's fast enough you could do it at a stop sign and you wouldn't get yelled at that much in and California. If you, and if you keep it over 70, uh, you can drive top down in the rain. And over so 70. Oh, right, you can do that. Yeah, you yeah. do that because all the water drop. Yeah. And by the way, when we started driving, when I put it into track mode, we were at 40% battery power. We're now at 58% battery power about six minutes later. So in track mode, if you're not using full throttle all the time, it will positively charge the battery, yeah. which is fantastic. <sighs> These are good seats. It's a great seat. It's one of the cleverer seats in a supercar I've experienced when I got in the car today, because one, it's manual slider, and it, it's a fixed back. But when you hit this button, it sort of rotates itself, yeah. like on a like on a slide. So you actually can lean it back a bit, yeah. And then the uh, the bottom cushion dishes up, which just holds you in really nicely. And it also has a lumbar support. And I don't know of any other one piece bucket seat with a power adjustable lumbar support. I don't support. think they're. I think they've heard our many, 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 many it's complaints. Great. Yeah, it's very good. You know, I'm about to uh, I'm about to do a thousand miles in this car. I'm sorry that we have to make this video before that, but it's a timing thing because I'm going to Pebble Beach uh, and this is my car. So I'm going to do a thousand miles in this thing and uh, we'll have a lot more to talk about uh, the Arturo Spider on the podcast yes. after that trip. The thing Paul's but obviously it feels even faster for the passenger seat. <laughs> yeah, you don't know what's about to happen, do you? But it's on P0 Corsas, which are a good tire for if it rains and everything like that. I hope it rains. I want to try this car in the wet. The 720 was so good in the rain. Well, it's that British car thing, right? Yeah. I mean, what, what I love is that this they kept the old school steering, sort of. I mean, it's hydraulic with electric assist. So an electric motor powers the hydraulic motor. That's why the feel is, in my opinion, the best loop based they had here on sale today. Um, but then you have the super fast transmission. It does, it, it feels like, I don't know, I wonder if it's bordering on too fast, too smooth. You get a nice click on the paddle, but. I don't think it was too fast, fast too smooth. But I like that thing it. is so agile. And it's just like, it's so reactive. So I, I would have to drive it back to back with one of the earlier cars to notice if the suspension changes because um, they sped up the processing power and they have those new engine mounts like I don't know if that has really changed the feel but right but the, you know the 7 series cars still have that magic suspension right? right but this has the 400 volt system so it can respond really fast yeah two so different approaches right and this has mechanical sway bars too yes um, but they they changed the shock valve in a little bit and they also sped up the processing power by like 90 percent so yeah. it just it tries to read the road and tell the future basically a little bit faster similar to what Porsche did in the 911 hybrid same kind of vibe Woo! it is it's so fast so fast it's so fast it's so easy to go so fast dude wow <laughs> Oh, wow. And then they've got that that very firm brake pedal of theirs, but it's yeah. progressive. I like yeah. it. You need to have a strong left foot or right foot if you brake with your right foot, but you at least have like a progressive resistance that tells me I'm binding them more and more. Jethro's right. Every McLaren is 800 horsepower. <laughs> yeah. They're all. Yeah, you know, what, they raised this by 20, which is funny. It's all from a tune. So yeah. You could bring your first gen Artura back there and just put yeah. it in and they'll be like, sorry about that. No, yeah, yeah, they'll free upgrade the first gen yeah. cars. Yeah. The um, I also love the visibility of this car, the really low cowl. Uh, the windows are a little bigger than in the 7 Series car or the earlier 5 Series cars. Um, and the clear buttresses in the back so you don't have a blind spot. They do a really good job of making it so you could see it. Yeah. And I good. love that. As good as you. Ooh, chip oh, chip monkey lift. Good. It's okay. It is, as ever, a, like a pure joy to drive one of their cars. It then fit in. It's so fast. It's so is fast. McLaren the new it's Lotus? So fast. They're oh. building lightweight, very focused cars connected to Formula One 
They built no SUVs or crossovers. They don't make money. Their cars are notoriously unreliable. They're, they go bankrupt every couple of years or they come close. Yeah. I, that is a great point. I think McLaren might be the new Lotus. Yeah, it's just the problem. The difference is, of course, that the price point is three to four times, you know, what Lotus is. For. Sure. Like Lotus was the affordable, amazing sports car. Uh, and they been pulled or gone away from that because the market's gone away from that sure so yeah but yes this has a lot of the same ethos of course yeah philosophically speaking and also this is half i mean even though it's insanely expensive it's half to 60 percent of the price of a 296 which is its closest competitor now it's 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 it has an e-ray in options so so there's that that's true um let's uh we'll take you down and let's just put the top down real quick and count it off. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Their estimate is correct. What do you think Beautiful. America's accessories pack is? Uh, a fire extinguisher and a bottle of whiskey. All right, that's twenty-two hundred dollars. Wow, America! America accessories. America's accessories pack is what it's. Well, like. this car does have. It's got a portable charge cable in the front. It's got a fire extinguisher, and it's got a first aid kit. You think it's that? Probably. That's good stuff to have. Um, the seats, Club Sport with lumbar adjustment, are twelve hundred dollars. That is a hundred percent of the money. Yeah. This is a fantastic seat in a supercar for a fixed bucket. Yeah, I gotta say, like, I mean. Uh, with the understanding that there have been some reliability issues in this car, dynamically, I love it. Yes. Living with it in 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 L.A. running around, I love it. Um, it's got enough trunk. It's got enough space. It's got enough usability. It's comfortable. I'm so excited to go do a thousand miles in this car. It's going to be so great. They're they're just good. Yeah. I mean, I've been a huge McLaren fan for a while. Every time they make one, it's exciting, fun. And the usability just gets better and better, I would say. And it's light enough at 3,400 pounds where I don't care that it's a hybrid. It's not True. like it being a hybrid, it doesn't it doesn't get in the way of, of its dynamics. It does not feel heavy. Yeah. I mean, maybe it's the, the suspension and the tuning and everything, but it feels like a, a much lighter car and yeah. it does feel like a smaller car as we're zigzagging through these tighter corners. One of the only negatives, of course, is the sound. 3 liter V6, it's... It's fine. It's, it's just pleasant. It's, yeah, it's pleasant. It's just it's a, it's a, a like a tight. Well, that was going to sound very weird. It's fine for a V6. It sounds precise. It sounds fi finely engineered. Doesn't sound as good as two nine six. Whatever they've done no. does truly sound better than this. It sounds closer to but their V12. This V12s. sounds good. Sounds better outside the car than it does inside the car. Oh, okay. On the drive bys, it sounds good. All right, I'll drive inside inside the, the car. You're not getting that much. Right. But it does sound good in the in the drive bys. Um, and so, uh, yeah, I'm going to Pebble Beach with this, but I'll have gone and returned by the time you see this video. Uh, thank you to McLaren for lending me this car for a thousand mile road trip and letting uh, Zach have a go as well for this video. And we'll have a lot more to say about the Artura Spider post Pebble Beach on the Smoking Tire podcast. Make sure you check that out and uh, we'll see you later. And remember... Always fight your tickets on the Off the Record app available in the Android and iOS store or go to offtherecord.com slash TST.